Hello people, my name is Ben, and this is a video that I probably should have done last week, however, uh, just pretty busy and kind of extremely tired. It's been really hot in the UK, for those of you who don't live in the UK or live in a part that's for some reason not very hot at the moment. Pretty much the entire UK has been incredibly warm, and that has just drained me. Uh, which made me a little bit off schedule. I missed out Wednesday's show, actually. Uh, I did one on Monday, and then one Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Um, but yeah, and I just, like, come home, it's incredibly hot, and then I pass out, because I'm way too hot. So I need to, uh, sleep for about three hours. So that's just, just great. Pretty optimal when you're making uh, online content. Anyway, so last week's game was 1001 Spikes. Uh, the game beat Ben pretty much this time. I will be returning to it at some point. However, 1001 Spikes is a fantastic game, but it's a very, very difficult one. I'm talking uh, probably more difficult for me at least. It really does depend on uh, how good you are at platformers and what different types. Uh, for me, it's harder than Super Meat Boy. I'm pretty fucking good at Super Meat Boy. Uh, I beat it within about three hours. Um, keep in mind that most of that was like me replaying uh, what I had already played months ago. But still, like I'm pretty good at it. I'm fairly pleased with how good I am at it um, and how well I did when I did do the week of that. I managed to beat it in two shows because of that but well that's one spikes Jesus Christ it's so difficult so you have like uh, two jumps you've got the a jump and then the Y jump a is like you jump up by one block uh, the Y one and you jump up by two so it's all very precise it's a, more about precise jumping a memorization of levels uh, for the most part you can kind of predict what's coming but there are a few bullshit bits that will uh, just kill any first time player pretty much uh, however you might get lucky and avoid them if you have quick enough reflexes but for the most part they will kill you and it's about memorization of the levels a bit more trial and error so if you're not into trial and error at all you probably shouldn't play the game other than that though it's actually a really solid platformer it's really really fun um, for me at least kind of frustrating it, at least uh, the first two three worlds I'd say are really really fun uh, for me personally I had a lot of I like, pretty much just consistent fun with them not getting too angry there are uh, like and when I did get angry it was more like oh fuck you game it's like you cheeky son of a bitch and then I would just go back and replay the level because it wasn't a big deal for me because I enjoyed actually replaying the levels and the better you get at them, uh, the quicker you can get back to the part that you kept dying at. And you do, as you like replay these levels over and over and over, you do get quicker at getting back to that certain point. Uh, which is very, very satisfying to slowly but surely get quicker at a level. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, it is a surprising amount of fun with it. And then, so there's this... There's an option that you have, uh, and you can skip levels. And this option I used four times throughout the entire game. Not really the entire game, but we'll, we'll get onto that. And then you get to this certain point. Uh, it's the level that is usually the transition one from one world into another, as in there's no challenge in it, you just kind of walk through a corridor type thing, and then it's like, hey, move on to the next world. However, <laughs> when you get to the end, uh, it just says, Aben Hawkins died. Was never, like, well not died, just was never seen or heard of again. So that's just fantastic. And basically, it's a little hint to say, hey, you should beat all of the fucking levels. And I'm like, that's going to be really difficult. So I did go back and I beat two of the levels. Uh, and now I've got two more left. And they are so, 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 so difficult. Um, I have a lot of trouble with them. And it's just, they're more and 
annoying levels than anything, honestly. Uh, I'm sure I'll be very satisfied whenever I actually eventually beat them. But yeah, so I've basically completed most of the game, but not all of it. There are still, like, in, in this last world, I assume there is about four or five levels. So overall, I'm... I still need to beat six to seven levels of the game, uh, and I will come back to it at some point. However, I just I <laughs> when it gets to that point, it feels like it's just wasting time. If anybody has a save file or can direct me to a save file of it that has all of those levels cleared, then I would be very grateful because I just want to play the last levels. That would be very nice. Um, but yeah, overall I would recommend it. I hope you guys are enjoying the Steam sales, summer sale that's going on at the moment. Uh, obviously I just haven't had time, uh, as I expected, to actually, you know, cover the sales that are on every day. Um, TB has pretty much got you covered on that anyway with the sale box. Uh, I generally agree with, uh, what he says. Like, we have fairly similar opinions about things. Um, not that he would know that. <laughs> Uh, of course, he doesn't have you covered every single day because uh, he's doing his uh, chemo treatment. Um, so we're just hoping that you know he gets through that, and you know, obviously, should dedicate as much time uh, as he needs to to actually you know getting better rather than having to make a sale box video every single day. So that's why he's missing some of them out, and I don't blame him one bit. I hope he gets well very, very soon. Anyway, uh, that was 1001 Spikes. It's a good, I, I enjoy it. It's a pretty good game. But, Jesus Christ, is it just the worst. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship with me and that game. Uh, I do want to come back to it at some point. But that was a game that I played last week, and I will be uploading highlights of it. Uh, more cut-down things, so uh, you can just see a montage of deaths or really sped up or whatever and then you can see how satisfied I am when I finally beat the fucking level because it, it is one of the most satisfying things and so you'll see all the fantastic celebrations to do with that yeah that was the game and now I will also do a video on this week's game uh, which you'll see what it is if you've come to the stream like a normal person and, you know, follow the Twitch channel slash the Twitter, or you'll see it in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.